If you are watching this video, I don't care if you're a man or a woman, I don't want you to ever be screwed again. Here is three reasons why somebody will ever ghost you and two ways to prevent that from ever happening again. Number one, you reveal way too much about yourself before the actual date. More than likely, you don't fail into the trap of trying to prove yourself to this person before you even decide to get their information. Look, I know that they told y'all that y'all have to build rapport with somebody in order to build a bond. That's understandable. But the thing is this, if you guys aren't on the date, you don't need to be building anything. Most men and most women will just give you their contact information if they think you look nice. You don't have to sit there and put in all this extra effort to get the phone number or the contact, whatever it might be, social media. Once you get it, you need to minimize the conversation as much as you can and then try to attempt to set the date, not reveal your entire life over the phone or through a text message. The second reason why somebody will ghost you would be that you took too long to plan an actual date in the first place. In the beginning, most men and women are most attracted to you when you first make initial contact. So with that being said, you can't drag on setting a date. You gotta get that date set as soon as possible. If you are brave enough to ask them on a date right then and there, say, hey, let's go for a walk. I wanna get to know you a little bit better. Then go ahead with it. But if not, then you need to be using that cell phone to get that date set up as soon as you possibly can because the longer you let time linger on, the more than likely they're gonna lose interest and probably even forget what you look like before y'all even go on a date so then they might not even wanna go. And for the final reason that somebody would try to ghost you is because they're looking for a text buddy. I know this sounds messed up, but I've ran to a woman just like this before. This is before I start enlightening myself and start understanding how men and women think. Scarcity creates value. When I was talking to this lady, she just saw me as just a regular dude. So what she was doing was just texting her whole life for in paragraphs while not trying to go on dates. She would make up excuses of why she can't go out but still try to keep texting me. Over time, I realized that this was very annoying and it wasn't going nowhere. But when I got to the point where I started ignoring her and decided to go with other people, then she decided that she might want to come around. Don't let nobody play with you like that. I've been through it and I don't recommend y'all going through the same thing I've been through. If somebody is looking for a text buddy, let them go text their friends. You're not trying to be the friend in the first place. You're trying to get to know them so you can build a bond so y'all can probably, you know, be a couple or grow into something major or maybe not. But either way, stop the texting. The phone is for setting dates. Look, I understand that being ghosted hurts. I've been there. I only had it done to me a couple times. But I developed my own solution to prevent myself from going through any of this. The first thing you should do to stop yourself from being screwed over by somebody trying to ghost you is learn to read the room and don't assume. What that means is understanding if this person really wanted to go out with you. Listen to how they interact with you when y'all talking. Are they seem enthusiastic to talk? Are they asking you things that might sound like it's interesting to you, like they are actually investing their time and energy into you? If it seems like you're doing a majority of the talking, especially as a man, because a woman should be doing more of the talking. I would say about like maybe 60 to 70 percent of the talking a man should be doing like the, the bare minimum but if she's doing way less talking and you're doing all the talking then obviously you're talking to yourself because she's not saying the dang old thing you're only speaking to yourself instead of speaking to yourself listen to how they're responding to your questions if you ask them out on the date and then they don't sound like they really want to go out then do you think you really want to go out with them of course not you should not be going out with somebody that, that's giving you a maybe or a hesitant date or i gotta check my schedule nonsense i understand that we all go to work but if they can't give you a definite date on when they can be available then don't take no maybe dates because a maybe date is a maybe they might cancel date so like i said the first thing you gotta understand is how to read the room and not assume. If it don't sound like they want to go out, then don't go out. And last but not least, number two, how to stop yourself from getting ghosted. It would be to make sure you plan the date somewhere near your location. The reason behind this is because if you plan a date near your location, that would mean that they will have to come to you. If they're coming to you, there's a good chance you don't have to even get dressed. You know, I know this, some of my, some people might say that, oh, this is insecure. Man, screw all of that. This is the thing though. Like, people like to play games and everything, but at the same time, if you live in a decent area, normally it's a bar, it's a restaurant, something nearby your location. So if you're the one planning the date, you need to be planning it somewhere that's convenient to you in the event that they don't show up. But say that they do show up. You only leave the house when they get there. See, in my case, I am the one that plans the date, so therefore I'm picking a location. And every time I plan the first date, it is always near where I live. I would tell the girl, look, we're gonna meet at this location at this time. If I get there first, 
then I'll text you. If you get there first, then you text me, okay? And then they'll agree or they don't agree. But if I get no response, then there we go. I'm still not getting dressed, you know? We will find out a few days down the line when this happened. But the problem is, a lot of dudes, they like to reassure women because they're afraid that she won't show up. What you're supposed to do is set that date, leave it alone, cut contact, nothing to talk about. You don't have to keep talking on the phone trying to engage and build her interest in you. Let that mystery and that anticipation build up. As far as a woman, that's cool. You know, a woman can use the same strategy on a dude if she don't want to plan a date. But at the same time, you need to protect yourself, you know? So if she's going to show up, that's fine. But if she don't show up, that's fine because you never left the house. And if she does show up, let her know I'm a few minutes away. Get dressed and get out there as fast as possible. And this is what you do to stop yourself from getting ghosted ever again. Make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch y'all around. Take care.